Smoke a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Y'all know what the fuck we doing, man. It's Hot Thoughts TV. Niggas hot in the beach, man. I'm smoking a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. And I'm not even asking. I'm not starting no campaign about who is this. But, bro, if you want to be represented and celebrated, bro, make something count. I'm tired of these niggas always screaming, oh, I'm working with the kids. No, y'all not. Y'all spend money more motherfucking time being in clubs, bro. How the fuck, bro, look, let me tell you something. How the fuck you working for kids with you in a strip club, bro? Don't you know kids' events start early, and when you're a part of the program, bro, you got to be earlier, you got to be there before the kids? You know how many motherfucking meetings I have to wake up at 6.30 in the morning so I can be in a meeting at 9? Because I got to be there before the kids get there to greet the parents? How many parents can say that these niggas are doing something, bro? Come on, man. But he don't lie. It's football season in the day room, but you out here, though. You out here, though. That's the day room. I hated the day room, and fuck that. That nigga is lying about that day room shit. Maybe I just was a hard-ass nigga. Because I said what I wanted to say in prison. And if somebody told me, and this on my mama, and on Brandon. If somebody told me about why I said that, Let's go underneath the TV. You can, bro, everybody, it's not like, I got people in my family, but my, the, the people that's locked in, bro, I'm not talking about no cloud chasers. I'm talking about my family used to come visit me. When my baby mama little brother used to tell me, say, say, bro, say, bitch, stop fighting, bro. I done caught the bus down here to see you, bro, and we can't even see you because you on restriction. So I used to, when I was in prison, when I was in jail, these hoes was the law to me. So when that nigga sitting there saying niggas was scared of other niggas, that's a lie. Because I know I had my fast show. I ain't going to act like I knocked every nigga out, but shit, we punched you. You know we had a squabble. You know that you won't try to put you, your thing twice about punching with me again. So like, bro, when you like, so when niggas in jail, you ain't you in jail with every nigga that say that they about something, my nigga. That's where the niggas that's about shit go. To prison. <laughs> prison or the casket. So we all about this shit? Who gonna be pussy? That means you was pussy in the street. So that's when you got these niggas talking about this jail shit. Like, no. If you was a pussy nigga in the street, you know your nigga was pussy in jail. If you knew that you was, like, like I remember I told her this morning, when you go to jail, you got two choices, bro. To stay all the fuck out the way, or you gonna have to get in the motherfucking mix. I chose to get in the motherfucking mix in jail. When niggas out here try to act like they OG status, pussy ass is not catching nothing in prison. I'm on, uh, I'm not active, bro. I'm just gonna go to school, bro. Talk about that gangster shit till they said it, but they not in that gangster shit in jail. I don't give a fuck what a nigga say. I was in that gangster shit in jail. That's how I met that nigga. That's how I met that nigga. It was no, no it was no. If you wasn't in no gangster shit, you wouldn't. I wouldn't even have met that nigga. And I wouldn't even have had this nigga name in my mouth, bro. But I was in the mix to meet that nigga, cause that nigga was in the mix. So, but when you in jail and you got niggas listening and you got niggas telling niggas from a trap, I'm listening to this shit, man. This ain't no on the internet came out his mouth, bro. Man, personally, like that we got into a squad with like these two is a is a dog. And a nigga got into the squad. One of the niggas from Longview, bro. And um, and one I forgot. I think the Crip nigga was from Henderson. So they get into it. Boom. Crip nigga from Henderson beat the nigga up from Longview, hands down. They got mad because the the Crip nigga from Henderson, but they fighting. They get mad, get mad because the Crip nigga from Henderson punched the nigga behind his head while they were fighting. So they in jail. It's a rule if a nigga back turn. If he like, if he can't like, it's an honor system in jail for real though. When it come out of families, because it's gonna be organized. We the, the blood seller straight up. You gotta do something about this shit. I was one nigga. You can ask the nigga from here. I was one of the niggas that punched on him. I didn't want to punch on the nigga. So Monday, Monday get back. Monday get back. Monday get back. Percy sent a message to the niggas. I never like Fort Worth niggas, bro. I'm cool when I was in jail. I'm going to keep it all the way 1,000. Me and Fort Worth niggas did not see eye to eye. The only Fort Worth nigga I saw eye to eye with, bro, was Rude Boy. Because Rude Boy, 
mind his business, bro. And Rude Boy for the form was the key holder. So you know what I'm saying? And we had a nigga from um we call it South Bank South Bank. And I don't wanna say the nigga government name, but South Bank, if a nigga know who South Bank is, nigga, you know what I'm saying? South Bank spoke for us. You feel me? We had a nigga named Drop Top. My nigga was like, all these niggas names I'm saying, this the first time I'm saying it. I'm not trying to, like, cause I don't know if they in the mix that. So, but you know what I'm saying? Nigga, I was having in prison. Those are the most meetings you always have. You always have a meeting. Like, every Thursday, you get ready to have a crib meeting. Having a meeting about talking about bullshit. So, in this meeting, person say, yeah, I'm going to say it like, nigga, I'm going to tell you like this. Person's talking about, nigga, whoever got, got to get in the blender, boom, boom. We squabble. Beat the nigga up who said, <laughs> like we had to squabble like on God. Like that shit is nigga jail than jail. Like if niggas know me in real life, bro, they know that I'm not afraid to throw these hoes, bro. Yeah. To the niggas that to the niggas the only niggas that call me home and pussy, bro, is the niggas that don't know me, bro. But the niggas that know me from Houston, bro, and they know when it's crunch time, I'm gonna put these hoes on, I'm gonna go at it. So it's like at the end of the day we go at it, boom. Now, I'm, bro, I'm doing some fuck shit. Like I said, I'm on my way because I'm making my man choice short review. But I'm just explaining how I met Percy so people can understand it. So, I make my mandatory short way. Well, people not knowing about mandatory short ways, they're going to take your blood and they're going to run an NCIC on you, bro. You see, if you got any warrants from any other counties, I had two. I had one from Brazoria and I had one from Houston County. You know what I'm saying? So, by me being a trustee, my threat level went up high while I had to go into the building. So, my last week, because I got I, I made my short wave on the 12th. That's why I went, I went to uh, Huntsville on the 11th, the day before the 12th. So, I made my short wave, but it was, I was in the building for only one week. When niggas say in prison, when you're affiliated or you're a gang, you're part of something, you have to check in, bro. Don't try to say you you ain't no crippin', you don't gotta check in. You don't say you ain't no blood, you gotta check in, you gotta check in in prison. They take checking in seriously, bro. It was some niggas that say that they wasn't homies, and you had niggas in prison trying to make that shit an issue, and the niggas that were saying that they wasn't like they wasn't active, bro, them niggas will beat the fuck out the niggas who's making the issue. You bro, it was a nigga, bro. Let me tell you something, bro. Let me tell you how real it is, bro. Like it ain't no joke. It's a nigga from Amarillo. That nigga do not like me, bro. He did not like me because he felt like I was a fake crib, bro. Because with how I talked and how I carried myself, when we be in meetings, what they entertaining, I'm not entertaining. When they eating, I'm not eating with them niggas because I felt like in prison, when I'm watching this shit, this shit is like, it's not about how they trying to make this shit seem like it's togetherness and brotherhood. That shit is straight extortion, bro. At its best, bro. And if you do not hold your own, you will be extorted bro or you will go to other prison bro this shit is not fake so that's why i want to let niggas understand these niggas talking about me but i've been somewhere that they're afraid to go to because they bonded out they'll burn out of jail and be having on anchor monitors looking like fucking idiots bro i set my bitch ass in jail and did my time because i knew that i wasn't gonna i wasn't gonna do good on no anchor monitor i knew that i wasn't about to be on parole bro so i had to do my fucking time bro when they gave me my short wave, bro, the only reason I made it off parole, bro, it was because of my younger son, bro. Because when I came home, bro, the clicked in reality, my younger son didn't even fucking remember who his fucking daddy was. That's when you start, that's when you start really looking at shit like different. Is these, is a, a, a fake ass reputation in the street more worth than my son not knowing who the fuck I am? And then when you a provider, Young family life being a shamble when you be missing. So I'm a provider. I take care of my family, bro. Ain't nobody can take me, bro. I'm respected. Because I take care of multiple households, my nigga. Oh, God. And a lot of niggas can't say they take care of multiple households. But how many times people call me and be asking me for shit? 